<laughs> hey there, sorry, didn't see ya. I was playing with my new Loki Wave 2. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. <sighs> the new Loki Wave 2 is the ultimate prostate massager, perfect for solo or couples play. <laughs> this product is for true pleasure connoisseurs who want to experience the ultimate internal and external stimulation all at the same time. <laughs> the softer, improved ergonomic design of the Loki Wave 2 ensures a comfortable fit and a life-changing orgasm. The Wave Motion technology designed by Lilo creates a finger-wagging movement from within that gives unprecedented pleasure. It ebbs, it flows, and it knows where to go. It's got 12 adjustable pleasure settings to help you find your sweet spot. And the Loki Wave 2 leaves no area left behind. Built in tandem with its Wave Motion technology, an external handle makes sure that your perineum is getting the best day ever. It's portable, rechargeable, waterproof, and built for the go anytime you need it. And not to mention, the sexy design will make sure you are pleasuring in style. The original Loki Wave took the world by storm and introduced a new level of intimacy to people with prostates everywhere. Now the Loki Wave 2 is taking it a step further, so why not dive in and experience it yourself? You can go to my link in the description and find the Loki Wave 2 as well as Lilo's other fantastic and intimate products. It's time for you to ride the intensity and come in spectacular fashion with Loki Wave 2. Hello, weary travelers, and welcome back to my channel. Why am I talking like an old wizard? I don't know. <laughs> Before we get started, I have fight merch that's out now that's only gonna be out for a limited time. So if you want any of it, like any of this cool stuff, this is a poster. This is this shirt that I'm wearing right now. But then there's this stuff that's new. Kind of fun, kind of cool. If you want any of that, you can go to crankcamplace.com and get it and now. The world is changing, folks. The world is evolving and we are at a point where we don't even need people anymore ever to do anything. You need to go to a, a store and you don't have a car? Great. There's cars now that will pick you up and drive you to places depending on where you live. And there's not even a driver. You need to write a 10 page essay due in 10 minutes. Well, you shouldn't use this, but technically it will write it for you. This is uh, this is chat GPT, which I think everybody knows about at this point. Uh, but I wanted to mess around with it because I haven't done anything with it. I've, this is the first time I've ever used it ever. So I thought that we would see what chat GPT can give to us. It is kind of horrifying because I've seen a lot of stuff that's written by chat GPT and it, it, there's so much stuff where it's like this. Looks like it was written by a real human. When will we be able to differentiate between humans and the robots? Has the Turing test been passed yet? Hold on. No computer has ever passed the Turing test as of March 7th, 2022. But that's kind of a long time ago. Got any creative ideas for my dying YouTube channel. Certainly, here are some creative ideas that you can try to revive your dying YouTube channel. <gasps> Collaborate with other YouTubers in your niche. Collaborating with other creators in your niche is a great way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Create a series. I know how to do that. Host a giveaway or a contest. No, that doesn't work. Update your channel art and branding. If the branding looks outdated or unprofessional, it may be turning viewers away. Create tutorials or how-to videos. Create a community. No. <sighs> Give me funny and weird video ideas for my YouTube channel. Trying weird food combinations challenge where you try things like pickles and ice cream, hot sauce and whipped cream, or ketchup and peanut butter. I can't do the last one. I'm fucking die, chappy. Makeup challenge only using food. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of awesome. Where you only use food items to do your makeup, such as cocoa powder for bronzer and mustard for lipstick. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. Let's ask about me, because I am a narcissist. Ethan Nesser, also known as Crank Gameplay, is an American YouTuber and internet personality. He was before born on December 20th. 
24th. That's incorrect. Ethan first gained popularity on YouTube through his Let's Play channel, which he played various games while providing commentary and interacting with his audience. In addition to his work on YouTube, Ethan also dabbled in music, releasing a single titled Gwen Stefani in 2018. He has also made appearances in various TV shows and films, including a cameo in the 2021 film Space Jam, A New Legacy. Justin, throw up the uh, my cameo in Space Jam, the photo of me in Space Jam. What a fond memory that I had on set. Man, me and LeBron really, uh, we really hit it off. Write me a poem about a man who lost his shoe in a great big fire. In the end, have the man find his shoe in a dramatic, horrifying way. Make it a horror poem. In the midst of the flames, and the smoke so dense, amidst the crackling and roaring of the inferno immense, a man ran for his life, his heart pounding with fear, as he saw all he had ever known burning in front of him so near. The flames licked at his feet as he stumbled and tripped. His shoes fell off, lost in the chaos and the fire's grip. He kept on running, not looking back, as the fire consumed everything in its path. The flames devoured the trees, the buildings, and the ground, and everything else that in their way they found. The man kept on running, his heart filled with dread, as he saw his world crumble in ashes turned to bed. The fire raged on, unrelenting and fierce, as the man searched for his shoe amidst the chaos and the tears. He searched high and low and everywhere in between, as the fire raged on and the world turned to obscene. But then, in the midst of the inferno, he saw a glint of light, and his heart skipped a beat as he realized what was in his sight. It was his lost shoe lying amidst the debris. As the fire continued to rage wild and free, he rushed towards it, his heart pounding with hope. As he picked it up, he felt his strength and willpower grow. The fire rode on, but the man had found his shoe, and with it, a sense of hope and determination anew. As he stood amidst the flames, with his shoe in his hand, he knew that he would make it out alive and that he could stand. Against any obstacles, any challenge, any foe, for he had found his lost shoe amidst the fire's glow. <laughs> Why is that gonna good? Make a rap song about crank gameplays. Gonna make a little rap song. Real quick, real nice. It's about me. Uh, chat GPT. Yo, listen up, I got a story to tell About a YouTuber named Ethan He's known so well He goes by crank gameplays And he's got the skill to make you laugh and keep it real he started out just like anyone playing games and having fun but he stood out with his humor and his charm and soon enough he was causing alarms uh there's more his let's plays were on point his comments are so fine and when he yeah, every time it's a good time he talked about his audience they were all his friends and it wasn't before long his popularity ascends he's got a quirky style a sense of humor so weird but that's what we love about him it's what we hold dear he's got the talent to entertain and the wit to engage in every video he posts it's like turning a page but i can't read <laughs> Write me an 80s love ballad about myself and my dog who I love more than anything in the whole wide world. Never knew a love like this before Until I looked into those big brown eyes You had your tail and I was smitten Oh, my heart had found its prize You're my furry little friend, my partner in crime Together we're unstoppable, we're one of a kind My love for you is pure and true, my dog I will always love you 
You greet me every day with a wag and a buck And I know no matter what you'll always be my heart We play, we cuddle, we will never want to part You're my loyal companion right from the start You're my furry little friend, you're my partner in crime Together we're unstoppable, we're one of a kind My love for you is so pure and true My dog, I will always love you through the up in the doubt you're always there A faithful friend who always cares You're more than a pet of your family to me And I hope you know my love will always be You're my furry friend, my partner in crime Together we're unstoppable, we're one of a kind My love for you is so pure and true My dog, too, too I will always love you My talk, my love, my everything You're the reason, my heart, that it sings Together forever, we'll never part You'll always have a special place in my heart My talk, my love, my everything You're the reason, my heart, oh yes, that it sings Together forever, we'll never part You'll always have a special your place in my heart okay <laughs> fucking christ what else do i want to ask oh i can ask it questions was the loch ness monster ever really alive the existence of the loch ness monster a legendary creature that reputedly inhabits loch ness deep fresh water lock in Scotland. It's been the subject and debate of fascination for many years. However, there is no concrete evidence to suggest that the creature ever existed or is currently alive. Why do you say this? Why do you say this to me? What if I ask it a question, like a basic question? As an AI language model, I don't have feelings, but I'm functioning properly and are ready to assist you with questions or tasks you might have. How may I help you today? Write a 10 page paper about Ethan Nestor's big bulging muscles and how he obtained them. <laughs> Why? Was it the use of the word bulging? Write a 10 page paper about <gasps> the Brain Leak podcast and its Origin. The Brain Leak Podcast, a deep dive into science and technology. The Brain Leak po pe Podcast is a fascinating and informative podcast that explores the latest developments in science and technology, as well as the social and ethical implications of these advances. Hosted by two experts in the field, the podcast is a must listen for anyone interested in staying up to date on the latest scientific and, techno and te technological breakthroughs and their potential impact on our society and daily lives. The Brain Leak Podcast was launched in 2019 by host Ethan Nestor and Mark Bernal. Ethan Nestor is a former YouTuber and social media personality, while Mark Bernal is a research scientist specializing in neuroscience and artificial intelligence. The two met while working on a research project at a university. Ah, yes, I loved my university years. This is not 10 pages. Dawson made the list and I didn't. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it entertaining. And hey, if you're still here, you're clearly a true fan and I appreciate you sticking around to the end. And I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude for all the support and encouragement that you guys give me. It truly means the world to me and motivates me to keep creating content that you enjoy. By the way, I've been using ChatGPT to generate ideas for upcoming videos. And let me tell you, <laughs> what a game changer. I highly recommend giving it a try if you're looking for some inspiration. Yeah. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. What did you think of the video? Yeah, that's about you. What topics do you want to have me cover in the future? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss, miss a video. Trust me, you won't want to miss what I have in store for you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>